Welcome back. Now let us talk about try, accept, else and finally. So you might be thinking of what is this else and what is this finally. Let us execute that and talk about it. So here I need to add one more block of code that is else and in which let me print something like inside else. Also I need to create one more block of code that is finally and let me print inside finally. Now let me run this one. I would be taking two condition. The first one is without error and the second one is I will be taking some error. Here we go. Let me take 50 and then 10. Things work fine. I got inside my try block. There was no error. So I haven't touched my except block. Then you can see I got a result from inside else then inside finally and then my new line and my result. That means I am not getting any error then I am going to touch else and finally for sure. So I can add any content. We will be talking about what type of content goes inside this blocks. But that means if we are getting correct result if you are not getting any error then else and finally will work. Ok let me take my second case. Let me give 50 and then 0. Here you can see I was inside my except block. So I got a 0 and then I missed my else block. I am not getting any result from my else block and then I got result from finally. With this you can conclude that if our result is fine, if everything is working perfect that means we will be touching try, else and finally. If we have some error, we have some exception then we will be touching except and finally. So finally will be executed for both the cases. Else will be executed only when we don't have any exception. That means we can use finally to add some codes that need to be executed after these line of code. So usually we add database reconnecting code. While performing some task in our try block, maybe something that is related to adding fields to our database or sending some values or trying to log in or log out. At that point of time we play with database as well as some data and there are chances that we might toss connection with our database. So we know that finally will be executed every time. So we add code regarding connect to our database in this finally block. You can use for lot more things. You might need to send server report after every time we run execution. We can try lot more things. So this is the reason that we have four blocks now. And I hope now you understand that try is to handle, except is to throw our exception, else is when we have successful try and finally will be for both the cases. I hope now you understand about else block as well as finally. So finally is really really important when you are working with important stuff like connecting with database or sending some report or logging some function or something else. So you have to understand about them. I hope this lecture was helpful. In the next lecture we will be talking about how to create our own exception class. So see you in the next one.